lovely. <laughs> I, I long to be just like you, Sammy Chi. Well, the wind's coming left to right, too. So it's kind of going to go straight anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, this gives you no opportunity to, to, to get it down. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, if you're more in the fingers, see how that all of a sudden you can get it that way more? Yeah. That's one of the things I'm working on with Chris. Is that nice? Very nice. We are on a hole four. At, on the vineyard course at Steel Canyon, they have a really sweet little um, short game area that we can chip to. And we're, we're on a fairway that we can go all the way back another, I don't know, 80 yards or so if we really wanted to. The shots that we're hitting right now, we have two buckets laid out. The one on the front right, if you guys can see, is 67 yards, and the other one is 78 yards, I believe, which is back left. We've been going consistently towards the 67 yarder because... 70, 77 or 78, but uh, we're, I go to the front one because that's my 9 o'clock, you know, 9 to, was it, 9 to 3, or whatever it is, uh, that's my shot from there, 67 yards, my 9 o'clock swing. So Sam, you don't, you don't use the clock system to judge your distances, yeah? You just kind of go by feel? I used to, but I go by like, I go by more ball flight. I well, judge my like, wedge, wedge play off ball flight. So like, for me, like especially the last year, I've kind of, I went for the very like formulaic way to play golf. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't have as much like reaction to the golf ball, meaning like as much like creativity or like imagination. So it really depends on what kind of golfer you are. Are you a yeah. guy that's like a Zach Johnson or you're a Phil Mickelson type? Yeah. I mean like. Or a Todd Beck type. Exactly. Because he does. Todd he he's the one who told. Yeah, he's the one who told me to. Well, he told me to do the the clock system and stuff. So, Did he? yeah, so it's, it's that's how he said. He told me that's how he judges his wedges. Does he really? Yeah, he said, yeah, my uh, nine o'clock swing, sixty-five yards, guaranteed. Yeah, so um, I think I think there's a little bit of that. I think he has the imagination with the shorter shots around the greens, like Phil. Yeah. You know. But let's say yeah, like sixty-five. I'm no, yeah, probably right around here. But I'm not consciously thinking about how high I'm taking it. Right. I'm consciously thinking about. So the higher it is, the farther it's gonna yeah, go. Most, okay. So like, so like, let's say a shot to the right basket is very, although it's only a five-yard difference. Yeah. It's very different because you got way less green. The right basket, I'm thinking of like a high soft bay. Yeah. Because it's less green to work in, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the the left basket, I'm thinking more of a like a medium to one big skip check. They're gonna land similar distances, but the trajectory, but the trajectory is gonna is make the different. distance so different. Then, so then, so then I base off my swing based off of that. Gotcha. And obviously that requires a lot of effort and uh, a lot of like focus, I guess. Yeah. And, and practice, but I think that's kind of the way I need to play golf. Um, so like the one that goes, the one that's to the right, you know, I would probably a little bit open stance more, and I would probably hit it higher. Right? Yeah, that one's really high. It's got a lot of spin. Oh, what a dime! That's gonna hit the hit the bu the bucket. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's way lower and, way lower and Oh that's so good. Like, that's really good. I don't know, was it different? No, it didn't look different. It looked kinda like, you know, it just looked like you hit one higher than the other to be honest with you. Same tempo, same uh overall effort. It was just really nice looking. But you know, some people are they have to be all about the the clock. Yeah. Yeah, well it's I nice to know I have the short game Bible. I have the Dave Pelts thing and I yeah. know I know for a fact, um, maybe it's not, maybe it, I'm doing it without me thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, right, right. I mean, it is nice, though, if you know that you're, you get, take it back to 9 o'clock, you yes. could, like, jump at it, and it's not going to go so, much so farther, you know? The way that I think about it is, if I take 9 o'clock, I forget about the ball fight. Right, makes sense, that makes sense. You know, it's almost like the ball fight judges this. Yeah. Now, if I want to go even higher, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Now see the greens are like ten now. Yeah. Let's say the greens are feeling so much more nice. I'm like, okay, I need shot, but now all of a sudden I need more speed because it's spin. Yeah. And I need more height. Okay, now all of a sudden there's a little ball position, but all of a sudden I'm, I'm, all of a sudden because I'm, I'm thinking about that, my my I'm guessing my swing is probably gonna be here. Alright. I'm guessing. Instead of it being shorter. Wow. Oh, look at this. That's a little short. Okay, a little short, but that was nice, though. But, like, that's the idea. Yeah. All right, makes sense. You know another, way for, uh, another way for you to judge distances, ladies and gentlemen. But, yeah, it's Taken from a man who is making a living playing golf, which is really cool. Is that for your channel? Yeah. <laughs> you, <can't pay> me? <laughs> you get a hearty handshake and a discounted round of golf today on a holiday. No. I'll make like $4 off of this.